Hello my loves and welcome to my Accra vlog. This is a video that I'm really excited to bring to you and show you all the things I've been getting up to enjoying the time I spent in Accra. So I want to mention that this video is also in collaboration with Skillshare, an online learning community with thousands of classes to help you develop and explore your creativity and skill. I took a food styling and photography class and learned some inside tips and hacks on how to get the best out of your photos and also how to use props. There are tons of classes available on Skillshare from photography, creative writing, cooking and even design. I did a nice little food styling session here with the jollof salad and beef that I made and I want to share more about this in the vlog along with the other recipes I made with my mum and my grandma. So Skillshare is offering a one month free trial to the first thousand people that sign up using my link in the description bar below. It's a great way to utilise and build on your skills so do check them out. But yes my loves. Let's go straight into the vlog and see exactly what I'm about to do. This is my first full day in Accra. We settled in. I'm staying at my aunt's place and yes, in just East Legon. So yeah, we've all settled in, rested, went to see the rest of the family yesterday. And so today we are going to get my hair done. Now I currently have my hair in a pony. I've had it for just over a week, but I want to get a sewing um, or braids or another pony. I'm still trying to decide. But yes, I thought I'd bring you guys along with us for our first full day. Yeah. So after the salad, went back home. So for lunch we had kenke with fried fish. This is one of my favorite dishes and I've talked about it before my channel. But I'm gonna show you guys how we make and eat this. So if you don't know, kenke is made out of fermented corn and maize. It's one of the most popular Ghanaian dishes and we eat it with fried fish. So here my mom's just frying the fish. You can use tilapia, red snapper, and it tastes so good. We season it with salt, black pepper, lime, and it's just packed with a lot of flavor. So yes, to make the pepper, we make it with scotch bonnets, tomatoes, and onions, and we grind it in this a Sanka earthenware bowl. This bowl is staple in most Ghanaian homes. We use it to grind pepper, ingredients, and also to serve food as well. It has these grooves inside that you crush the ingredients against and it imparts so much flavor and it leaves a really nice texture. But of course I did struggle a bit because it does require a bit of skill. So my mom just stepped in and just showed me how to grind it properly. And here she is showing me. I learned how to do it properly by the end of the trip, but I also made sure I brought back a few of these Sasanka bowls with me because they were so, so helpful. But yes, here is the kinky. I have it here with the fried fish, these guys can see, and of course the pepper. I ate this every other day. This is my go-to meal. Uh, and yes, it's definitely worth a try if you haven't tried it yet. Hello my loves, welcome back to my vlog. So today we are off to Castillo, which is a really nice Spanish tapas restaurant. And it's um, a nice Sunday. I've got on my ASOS dress and put my hoops. Yeah, I'm going with my cousins, my sister, and yeah, I'm really excited for lunch. And I showed you guys my makeup earlier, but yeah, it's so beautiful today. And so yeah, I'm gonna vlog this. Uh, come on in. I'm not the 
guys, so we're just at D Cafe. We've ordered some pizza and wine, and we're gonna sit outside. It's nice and cool in here, so we're just like catching some of that aircon. So yes, I thought I'd touch base with you guys. And it's one of our final days here, so it will come out. A nice bit of coffee and vibes. so good probably one of the nicest pizzas i've ever tasted so now we're just gonna head up so yeah see you guys soon and the weather's amazing so yes we thought we'd do like a little pool sit day side kind of chill i have here my glass of wine i've been drinking wine this whole trip guys so yes i'm gonna put my shape <laughs> me guys So if you're visiting Accra, Sandbox is a place to be, especially on a Sunday, it has a really nice vibe. We went there just for drinks, a late lunch and we just chilled poolside, also taking in the beautiful view and it was such a lovely experience. It has a nice music, also a nice vibe. So I would definitely recommend checking it out if you haven't. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with Sandbox, but yes, you guys definitely check it out. It's a nice vibe as you can see. <laughs> So what did you order? So I ordered the mocha cappuccino <coughs> and it's from the one from the latte, which is like a latte in a cappuccino form. But they didn't have that available. So this is like a proper coffee house. Yeah, it's just nice to be able to get some coffee. 
I'm gonna head off, so see you guys. Bye. And then the next day, we headed off to the Badi Beach Resort. This reminds me so much of my childhood. We used to come here a lot. And if you guys don't know Labadi Beach Resort, it's one of the nicest hotels. It's almost like a tropical paradise. And it's a few minutes from the city center, but also a few minutes from Labadi Beach. Now, it has its own private beach. It also has a gorgeous pool, really nice restaurant. So we went for breakfast. I also have here some coffee to pick me up because I was really tired. And I had access to my favorite, croissants cakes bread and of course a full english breakfast one of my favorite things to do on holiday guys is to go for breakfast whether i'm staying in a hotel whether i'm staying in a family home i love me some breakfast and i help myself to a full english i would say their breakfast is a 10 out of 10 so i definitely recommend checking it out sadly it did rain in the end so we couldn't swim in chill pool sign so we had to head back home but and welcome back i just thought that i'd catch up with you guys so far i've been loving it so much i cry it's such a beautiful place and i know a lot of you probably watch this vlog live here i've been to here i have family from here so i'm sure you guys can agree that this place is just obviously a lot has changed since the last time i was here but um i'm loving it so far and i can't wait to share more experiences with you guys so i'm going to bring guys along with us today we're going for lunch i've gone with this gorgeous number which i'm going to show you guys So one of my favorite restaurants for authentic Ghanaian food was a place called Mango's in East Lagon. I actually visited a few times, well I did because I loved it so much. And as you can see I'm enjoying here a chilled glass of Club Lager, which is like the national or local beer I should say. And it's super refreshing. I had a lot of this on the trip because it was that good. And here's my light soup which is a delicious tomato based soup with herbs and spices it's very comforting very delicious and if you haven't tried light soup or fufu i definitely recommend you give it a go i have a recipe on my channel i'm going to link it down below but i'm also going to have an updated version for you guys but yeah my loves that was our lunch it Vlog. So today I'm going to be cooking with my grandma. We're going to be making garden egg stew with garden egg and alcohol and we're going to have it with bamboo. So I just thought like I'd come and like touch base. The other day we did have like goat meat jollof rice. Oh, it was perfect. So yeah today we're going to make the garden egg sauce which is kind of like a change to like okra. It looks like okra. It tastes like okra but it's got garden egg in it. See ya my loves. Yes yeah, so let's just get cooking. See ya. <laughs> So I'm going to show you guys how to make the okra and garden egg soup. I have here all the ingredients. We're using about 1 kilogram of beef. We also have here some chopped okra, ground as well, and of course the garden egg. And then we have here the seafood, some crabs, smoked mackerel, tomatoes, peppers and onions of course. One of the things I love about this soup is that it is a one pot dish so we're going to show you how to make it. It's super simple but so delicious. So in goes all our beef including our seafood and my grandma just season it with some dried chili peppers, some salt, some onions, 
and the chopped tomatoes and then she's just given it a stir and then she adds in one glass of cold water and then we just put the cooker on and then we leave the food to cook for about 25 minutes with the lid on and then we will check on it when that is done so after the meats and everything has been cooking down you can see it's made a really delicious broth already and then I'm just going to add in some freshly ground peppers these are like scotch bonnet chilies the green ones and then I'm going to add in some crayfish or should I say dried stockfish and this imparts more of like a umami taste to the soup it's kind of like adding soy sauce to a dish this is it gives it that kind of depth of flavor and then when that's done we add in some palm oil I'm using two cooking tablespoons of this you can also make this without palm oil I just like the taste that palm oil has but if you want to make it extra healthy you don't need to add it so when that's done we added some salt the garden egg and then the okra give that a stir and this is what it looks like guys this was so so good and it smelled amazing so I would say this is definitely the Ghanaian take on okra soup and this is my grandma's recipe and she made it the first day we arrived and I told her that she needed to make it again because it was that good so here we have the banku banku is similar to kinky but it's different in texture and it has more of a lighter bite to it and it's also very soft so we eat this as well with pepper and fish but also with a lot of our soups like this and yeah guys here's me serving it up it didn't take long to make the soup it was done in like 40 minutes we had it with some banku and yeah guys i'm going to leave all the recipe and ingredients down below for you guys to recreate this it's definitely worth trying hello my loves so we are heading off to the airport the time here in Ghana is now over sadly but it was such a fun trip and I really enjoyed it and we initially came here for two weeks for my grandpa's memorial but we ended up staying for a month and half the time I was unwell so I couldn't vlog everything but I'll be back again but anyway yep we're off to the airport now and I just want to thank you guys so much for watching this vlog and yeah see you in my next one